Here we go, and hello. Hello there. Welcome, everyone. Good to see you all in chat. Derek with Easy First. Hello, good sir. How are you doing? Lazy. Good to have you. Welcome. Rookie, good morning to you. Welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? Thanks for being here. Thanks for warming up the chat. Have to uh, have to admit to you guys. Oh shit! You know, I totally forgot to change my uh, stream title. I knew I forgot something. No, it's okay though. It still says we're playing Alien Isolation. It's just reusing the same verbiage as last night. It's no biggie. I knew I forgot something tonight. Um. Well, that explains it. Uh, I have to admit, uh, I'm running on fumes tonight. <laughs> I am pretty damn tired. Uh, running on fumes, but I'm glad to be here. I always look forward to streaming uh, every every uh, every week. These uh, these three days out of the week, I really look forward to them. So. Hook or crook, I'm gonna make sure I stream. I'd have to be uh, incapacitated. Ali, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in, my sweet girl. How are you doing tonight? Best days of my week. Aw, oh, lazy. I would try to do the Keanu gif. I'm not. Uh, getting enough angle for me to properly do it, but I'm doing the Keanu gift. Giving his heart you. That name poll I did last year, I recounted them all after last three people finally got back to me. All 29 have spoken. It was 25 until now. Rookie, refresh my memory about your name poll. 29 you got 29 respondents? But for the longest time, you only had 25. I mean, that's pretty good. You flatter me, Mac. Oh, no, no, no. It's the truth. There's no flattering. There's no buttering up here. I'm just laying down cold, hard facts. But I hope you've been having a, a very good week. Uh, Allie. A max disgusting gremlin. No, you're not lazy. I had 29 followers. Oh, followers. I gotcha. I had 29 followers, so 25 responded, but now everyone has. Nice. Nice. So this means very soon we're going to get a change. No more rookie 1922. Very soon, right? This is exciting. Because there have been many phases, many names. And I look forward to a new era. Although I will miss the rookie era. The rookie era was very strong. The rookie era I likened to uh, George St. Pierre's reign at the top of the welterweight division. That's how good it's been. Right to give you an idea, a point of reference. It's a good week indeed, but I have to wait to redeem my fave. Yes, you gotta wait a little bit, eh? Interesting. Usually you're able to pop off like right at the start, but I think you may have came in a little bit later last time, so maybe that's why you haven't had time to accumulate the uh, the pointage. That's right. Really. Interesting. I didn't know a rookie would get such a reception. Hey, you just never know about these things sometimes. Speaking of MMA, the uh, Jones gone fight is this weekend, isn't it? Right? It, it's this weekend. I, I just a few days ago, I was watching uh, Dan Hardy's uh, analysis of that fight. Next weekend. Okay. Damn. I was looking forward to checking out my 
special website to catch the replay. <laughs> You're right, my good sir. Okay, okay. Oh, look, lazy, lazy with the tag team, lazy with the save. Look at that. That this is what friends are for. Redeeming the show us your anime hair for Ali Bug. This weekend is Jake Paul. Jake Paul's fighting um, Tyson Fury. We don't have Serpent here to keep me straight on the, the latest Jake Paul shenanigans. All hail the, ch the chef. I, I, I almost read that as chief, but it's chef. All hail the chef. Tommy Fury, Tyson's little brother. Ah, yes, the less talented uh, Fury. So I hear. So I hear. Predictions for that one, rookie? Uh, Jake Paul versus uh, Tommy Fury. Gremlin Chef at your service. Okay, let me give uh, let me give you guys the goods first, as you have redeemed these Fury boys. Is that their real last names? I've also wondered about that, Derek. Or as I like to say, Tommy Fury got the looks, Tyson got everything else. Oh. But having the looks, I mean, that makes up for a lot of the other shortcomings, right? Right, right, right. Okay. It is a real name, eh? That is a badass name. But. Do any of the Fury Bros have hair like this? I think not. I think not. The, the uh, Fury Brothers look like they've uh, stuck their fingers into the uh, outlets any, anytime soon. No. I mean, my sister has a huge crush on Tommy. Oh, really? He is a decent looking fella. I'll give him that. They were destined for boxing. Tommy doesn't really have a face for boxing, right? I mean, you, 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 getting pummeled for your whole career, you don't want to be a, a looker, generally speaking. That hair wild and that's some stellar hair. <laughs> hey, look, some nights I can deliver hard. Other nights are, I, I feel can be a bit of a flop. You never know what you're going to get for your 1000 points. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh. Set it back in place. You know, my hair has got pretty much a mind of its own. I can deliver hard, Mac. Notable quotables. Oh, Jesus. They should have had that in the last episode of Jeopardy. People were like, who the hell is Mac? This is the shittiest Jeopardy question ever. I need air, water. Tommy used to be a model, then came second place in a UK reality show called Love Island. I've heard of that show. Now he wants to, t to turn become a boxer like his brother. Love Island, turn professional. Hair R&D rolled today, land on a solid 30. <laughs> oh wow, Ricky, thank you for the um, background info about the the fury bros it's it's yeah cool i had no, i learned more about tommy fury in just a few minutes than i've ever known before which was pretty much nothing so i guess that's not saying too much no problem i love history F especially fight history Oh yeah, speaking of what I did there with the fist, don't you just, I don't know. Every time a fighter takes a picture <laughs> with a fan or something or somebody else, they always gotta like do the fist. It's just becomes such a cliche. And one of these days I just want to, uh, I just want someone like Volkanovsky to just like do the uh, cute V on the cheeks or something. 
Mag is so adorable, WTF. Adorable? Allie, I resent that. I resent that description. I'm a full grown man. I'm not some pet. I'm not your pet, Allie. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you know, you break out uh, Skinny's emotes. You know, I, well, how can I stay mad at you? Volk, uh, Volk was so inspiring. I loved his confidence. He was so calm, cool, and collected against Makachev. Yes. Yes, uh, I think there's a commentator who said, like, he's never seen a fighter come out of a loss, like, so well. Like, Volk lost the fight, but it's like he almost won. He, he comes off like he won the fight instead of losing it. Cuddly Mac. It was cute though, the fist. <laughs> yeah, I would not make a, a good uh, professional fighter at all. Even if I had like worked out and built myself out and actually like got some wins under my belt for real in the octagon. As soon as I pose for, for, <laughs> for a photo op, I try to do the fist thing. People would just be like, ah, that's adorable. This guy's not threatening at all. He may have like a 15-0 record, but I'm not intimidated in, in the least. That's adorable. Pet, pet, pet. Like this. Aw, that's my emote. Um, yeah, I was saying at the, at the top of the stream, I'm running on fumes. I'm super tired tonight. Uh, woke up at 5 a.m. Uh, today because uh, uh, our dog woke us up with his vomit. We heard his heaving and then... We both popped awake in bed. It was freezing. Uh, my wife, she's a champion. She immediately bolted down and got the uh, wet vac and started cleaning up. It wasn't too much. And, uh, but uh, I already wasn't getting the greatest amount of sleep that night. I really only settled in onto the pillow probably around 3 a.m., believe it or not. So it was like two hours later, Woke up to a dog, dog puke. And uh, this was like the second time in a week. So we we're getting kind of freaked out, especially like the vomit. There was like little specks of blood in it. Not a good sign. So uh, we took him to the vet um, kind of later this afternoon. And things seemed okay. Like actually like his, his appetite and everything has been fine the whole day. Hasn't had any other bad symptoms. He hasn't like acting mopey or like um lethargic or anything so all things considered um he's doing okay and now he's got some medicine that we're gonna feed him for the next two weeks so hopefully no more um vomit out of the little furball but yeah i was just like a zombie for most of the day absolutely scary yeah, it can be scary it's like you never want to see blood in uh vomit right it's like blood anywhere is usually like no bueno. Did you guys turn into soup? No, lazy. We are not gourmets like like you are. We couldn't turn dog puke into anything edible. I think that's pretty pretty difficult. Even if we wanted to. And he did not vomit on us, fortunately. He had the decency to at least like pick a corner of our bedroom to vomit. My dog eats grass and pukes, but blood, I'd be panicking hard. Yeah, the last time he puked was over the long weekend. After he puked, he puked in a more reasonable time in the morning. And then we took him out for a walk. He started to eat grass as a way to detox himself. He often does that. And then he puked up the grass, um, which was, was expected. Um, yeah, blood in the vomit is a sign of something more serious. According to the vet, it's like perhaps he's got some inflammation in somewhere in the intestines or in the stomach lining uh, that could be because of like a whole bunch of things, right? Oh, hopefully your dog eats eats well soon. Cool looking dog, by the way. I saw the pic on Discord. Hey, thank you, rookie. Yeah, he is. He is our pride and joy. He he's our little prince. He is getting old though, so we really got to keep an eye on him these days. 
I hope you sleep like a baby tonight. Oh, thank you, Allie. I hope so too. I hope so too. A oh, little baby. I don't know if you're talking about my dog or me now. But thank you. Thank you either, either way. Um, hey, guess what? Uh, more Alien Isolation tonight. Uh, chapter 14. I, The last time I looked up all the chapters that are in this game, I believe it numbered around 17 or 18. So I feel like I'm getting to the final final stretch of this, this damn game. This damn Alien Isolation. The dog, Mac, Lamau. Packs bags and move to Max Town to become his personal vet. Oh, really? You're just too. You're just a Renaissance man, lazy. You have just so many skills. You have so many skills to pay the bills. So close. Um. Yeah, it's getting to point with alien. Oh, I'm switching topics, by the way. I'm kind of still hung up on alien isolation now and that um think about it. Uh, once I'm done with this, it's like I'll have this huge gap in my life of like, oh man, no more alien isolation. What the hell am I gonna play on stream now? But that's a lie. I have a whole a list of things I could uh, start streaming that I'm so eager to stream once I, once I wrap this sucker up. Atomic Heart, yeah, maybe? Dante's Inferno is definitely up there, rookie. We, we talked about that before. Atomic Heart is a freebie on uh, Game Pass. That's also that's also a possibility. I have heard like the lukewarm stuff about it, but that doesn't really deter me. I'll make my own decision, right? And there's there's a minimal risk to trying it out on Game Pass. Um, Dante's Inferno though is a known quantity. I've been itching to get back to that. Why did I forget Sham? Hey, no worries, no worries. There's also the Callisto Protocol making an actual new game plus run, trying to, you know, maybe get the rest of the achievements. So it might actually be a, a fair bit of like revisiting a games I've already played after I'm done with this one. Uh, might even try a hardcore run. Hey, who knows? I hear it's not too bad. You're just not gonna have the money to get a lot of upgrades playing on hardcore in Callisto Protocol. Um, but anyway, I don't wanna to talk too much about other games yet. We have a game in front of us that I still need to finish. So let's get to it. Uh, last stream was rough, right? Last stream, I was really under pressure from these working Joes. And uh, they, were, they, were giving me, they were giving me some grief. Okay. Just Ferris being a butt. <laughs> Good song. What what song, Lazy? Game should be on your screen. You should be hearing the game audio. Let me know if there's anything wrong with the audio, please. Thanks in advance. Continue. Oh, under pressure. Yes, of course. Yeah, the pressure has been uh, relieved temporarily. Uh, since now that we've gone out of that hellish chapter, I have a bit of a break, hopefully. Investigate the central reactor. Yeah, so we had a chance to interface with um, what you call it? Apollo, which is the uh, crazy AI that runs the entire station. It turns out, big surprise, you know, spoiler alert, you know, Wailing Yutani is up to no good. And uh, they, they deemed me expendable, you know. All for the sake of uh, securing the specimen, which is, of course, the alien. So, boohoo, I'm expendable in the eyes of Waylon Tani. Such a, such a shock. Stunned, I am. Uh, 
what I missed from the last time. Yes, uh, I oh, I think I ran through a fair bit of it already. Um, got access to Apollo. Apollo said, yeah, I'm not doing anything you want me to do because I've got my orders and you are expendable. We just want to uh, make sure we get the alien specimen. And I picked up the welding torch upgrade over here. And that's really it. That's really it. I, I was facing off those uh, working Joes who had the special suits on, which um, protected them from the EMPs and my stun baton. So it made that section really tricky. So a lot of dying last stream. So I'll just keep following the flow of this. Um... Oh, I'm not, I'm not jazz about these security cameras hanging out here though. What was that? Oh, it's like some steam. It's like... I don't quite know. I think, let's say I have one more charge in my stun baton, possibly. So this is a closed door, okay. Alien equals the big bucks. I wouldn't be mad at their decisions. Lazy knows a lot about this game, right? Yes, he does. Yeah, I'd be in it, yes. I remember someone was an alien veteran in this community giving useful tips. That would be lazy. That would be lazy. Lazy is my alien isolation Yoda. Um, other people have, uh, you know, passed by here and there who have also uh, played this game and possibly even finished it. Ooh, I don't. But they're but they haven't been regulars like uh, Lazy has been. They make a big cut right there. Open. Ooh, I'm strong. Nice, it is you. Yeah. Okay. Rookie, what do you got planned for uh, your day? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, you're at the start of your day and. Uh, Probably enjoying a nice breakfast. And, uh, keeping me company, which I do appreciate. Working today? Wait, yeah, today would be a Friday for you, right? Yeah. <gasps> Already a new, uh... Oh, there's an android there? Working Joe, I mean. Gotta save every time. Who's working? I don't know. I got one more day of work before the, the weekend. I sure as heck have a lot of catching up to do. EMPs ought to work on these bros, right? Is he coming for me? His eyes are red, so. Follow me, please. No! And that's how we do it. When the Joes don't have their cheap little protective suits. I have three. Breakfast, work, gym, home. I didn't know you are a, you're a gym goer, 
rookie. That's good for you. Way back in another life, I used to wake up, go to the gym in the morning before going to work. That meant going to the gym very early. And I remember the very first day I did that, I felt like I wanted to die. <laughs> and then the subsequent days, surprisingly, went a whole lot better. It's amazing how quickly you adapt to a uh, rough, crappy, uh, not crappy, but just like rough new routines and habits, right? That did not last very long, though. The whole going to the gym in the morning before work thing. Power up. Okay. Need shorter work days with the same pay as I have now. Oh, yes, I agree. I could not agree more. Lazy. Rookie takes naps at the gym. You're right, I wasn't. It was my 2023 resolution to get into fitness, take health more seriously. Oh, nice. Well, still good on you. Good on you. How have you seen? How have you seen the gym attendance change since January, rookie? Has has it been trending down? <laughs> have people have people been falling off their resolutions already? That would be my a cynical take. You know, just not just cynicism, but based on experience as well. This, the mist, or uh, not mist, but just like the smokiness of this area is, is cool. It's cool. It's very moody. There we have another. Uh, how come I can't um, power up here? Where's the Where's the other generator? Oh. So this thing? Yeah. Fifty minute nap and I'm home. Fifty minutes work, fifty minutes nap. Mmm. One thing, uh well I recently somewhat recently um joined TikTok. I don't create any content for TikTok as of yet, but I, I just browse it once in a while. It's frightening, um, but it's also so you know sometimes entertaining. I have to admit, uh, there seems to be uh, an epidemic of people TikToking themselves when they go work out at the gym, which has created this weird culture of people being told to not film in the gym because it's doing it in inappropriate places like the change room or <laughs> they're trying to uh out people who they think are like gawking at you know people's asses or something it's, it's really silly it's really silly. it's basically the human race is is uh, due for a hard reset um it's no no two ways about it We're due for uh, an extinction event. Oh wait, I came from here. God, god damn. That'd be me, but work is my fitness. Gotta build your FIP so you don't see the nasty TikTok. Build your FIP. Let me like, check out the map here. So, find a way out of the engineering workshop. So I've Turn on two generators so far. Let's hang a right. We have this beast of a, a machine here. Okay, so this is just the music, right? Nothing was there. Oh, we have this. We got power up the workshop controls now. There we go. Now we got power. Now we're cooking. I think now I can push the button here, right? There we go. 
Everything can look so samey in this game. Machines. Machines everywhere. Up and away. And there's a little passage that is revealed. Very nice. play with this thing, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's super dark. Fifth it means for you page. Oh, thanks lazy. Thanks for the explainer there. Looks like Russia might be hard resetting America soon. Jokes aside, I just go for 45 minutes, four to five times a week. Do a mix of cardio and some weights, but nothing major like heavy bodybuilders or any of that. It is your main content page on TikTok. Oh, I see. So that term is, is a specific to TikTok then. Gotcha. 45 minutes is a, is, a, is a decent amount of time, especially when you're uh, first starting out, I would say. And doing, uh, sticking to the cardio and some lightweight training. Perfect way to get started, man. Perfect way to get started. You definitely do not want to jump straight into the heavy weight lifting. You, uh, you're too young to get hurt like that. I mean, you'll recover fine, I'm sure, but... Uh, yeah, don't don't hurt yourself on those weights. Lift responsibly. These scary looking corridors. So, if I go straight, it's a dead end. That looks to be... Oh, I can use the iron torch. Open up a shortcut, essentially, it seems like. True. Wish I could work out. Too lazy? Welcome to club. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Opened up a little shortcut for ourselves. Oh, hello. I, sh I will save. Thank you. Funny as that be, it is not my reason for not being able to work out. Do you have other reasons for not working out, Lazy? Purely asking out of curiosity, by the way. Unlock the shutter. Okay. No judgment here, uh, as you know, I've made painfully obvious. I do not work out either. Facility management. Nope. I gone back to crouch walking. I may have um, tools to use against the working Joes right now, but uh, I still have a limited supply. And I don't know when the alien is gonna pop back out randomly. Cause you just know the alien is gonna come back. 
Oh, we had a working Joe, working Schmo. Somewhere around here. Don't ask me about Sebastopol's safety protocols. You have two more EMPs. Bolt gun? Did I, did I see that right? I have maxed out on batteries. If I can just run out the rest of this flashlight battery and then refill. Not just yet though. Where's this D bag? I want to take care of this uh, working Jill first. Oh, hello. Oh no, he's protected. Fuck. He's a protected one. Oh, what am I gonna do about it now? My uh my uh bravado has uh, just disappeared now. <laughs> Oh boy, that second pipe bomb didn't even look like it exploded. It looks like it just pushed them away. Funny as that be, it is not my reason for not being able to work out. I'm missing my left kidney, so all I need, so I, I need all the water to go to it and I can't consume large amounts of iron or protein. So I can't build much muscle or weight. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, you can't strain the one kidney. Yes, that makes that makes perfect sense. Lazy. By the way, yeah. Sorry to hear that uh, you're you're down to a single kidney, but um, I understand now that you want to definitely treasure the one you have remaining. Similarly, if somebody lost an eye, the one remaining eye would be uh, extremely important for living a functional, satisfying life. Okay, I'm out of pipe bombs again. And I don't have enough crafting or materials to craft. Oops, I do that for. Hopefully I don't meet many more of those Joes with the uh, suits on. Oh! This could really do some damage. Here we go. For the Emperor. For the Emperor. I'm just thinking Bolter. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Okay. I gotta run out this um, this flashlight. So I can pick up a new battery. Shutter's code. Chief, I'm heading down to reactor maintenance now as requested. I've locked the shutters behind me. The code you'll need is 6832, Flores. 6832. Shared. Power delivery. We need you down in reactor maintenance, Flores. I've got reports of localized brownouts all over the station. I know it's going to hell on station, but I can't see anything up here that would be compromising power delivery. Can you run a full systems check down there, Chief? I'm coming to find you. Flores, if you're still there, find somewhere safe and wait. I'm coming down to you. We need to stick together now. Sanders is dead, and, and at least four of the other engineers are missing. One of those damn androids nearly took my head off, so I've scavenged some parts together to make a weapon. It's got enough kick to punch a nice clean hole one of those bastards. I'll be there as soon as I can. Damn, this chief is responsible for the bolt gun? Props, man. Props. Left eye and kidney are not operable. You've joined the Imperium with that gun. That's understandable. You're exempt from medical reasons. Sorry to hear that. For sure. Folder corrupted. Oh, we can just use the code right now. 
I had no idea we could use the code so soon. 6832, right? Yeah. Get to the reactor. Do we send Android out there? Better not be. But I got a bolt gun now. Bolt gun, bolt gun. Make a little bolt gun song. There we go. I can grab the battery. There we go. Yes. More ammo. For the Emperor. The Emperor's will is for me to destroy as many of these working Joes as possible. Wait a second. Let's go back out this way, right? I thought, um, I just quickly save again, actually, before I, uh, progress any further. Save station is right in here. Don't be sorry, it's fine. The God Emperor has chosen you, Mac, as one of his new angels. Angel of death. Yes. I'm just missing all the genetic enhancements and, and special training, but uh, I've got the weapon. A facsimile of uh, their weapon, at least. So I'll hang a left. I got eight rounds in total. Shouldn't go crazy with this gun. I should really pick my shots still. I keep saying it, but I love the look of this game. I really do. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like if somebody took this same engine with the same art direction and just made a very fast action FPS out of it. That'd be cool. Been to the reactor? <laughs> I did some training in one. Seems like a lifetime ago. Okay. Uh, by the way, do any of you use a Wi Fi booster or no? Uh, no, I don't have a Wi Fi booster. I, I have um, a Wi Fi mesh system. Not quite the same. And uh, we use like a, a home security system. Uh, we use Ring, and that comes with its own signal booster for its um, various devices. And I, and I have one of those things plugged in, but it, that's just for the, the Ring security system. Yes, for my garage it is where I game. Worth it. Got this text from my internet company offering Wi-Fi booster for extra $10 a month, which is all right, I guess. No, you can buy your own with a monthly fee. Yes, lazy. I agree. Yeah, there's no, yeah, by uh, paying them a recurring fee just for a uh, piece of hardware, you know, it's fun, easily on your own, you know. Totally agree, lazy on that one. Ooh. Side. It had its back to me, walking down a corridor like it was the most natural thing in the world. I hid, but when I looked up, it wasn't there. I think it went into the floor, maybe the ceiling. 
Sebastopol's a maze. Let's talk about the Xenomorph. Anywhere. This must be what the marshals have been chasing. This shouldn't have been kept from me. Chief out. Ah, uh, the, the badass chief that made the bolt gun. Oh, more ammo. Just one more round. I'll take it, though. Badass. Flamer fuel. Does this mean I'll be getting another flamethrower soon? I sure hope so. But that also means I'm probably going to meet uh, Mr. Alien again soon. Which is not, not good. I've had the one I'm using for about five years now. I'll probably do that. I just got this weird OCD like getting your own booster isn't the official one from your internet company set. Ah, uh, I know what you mean, Brookie. Wow, this looks hellish. This looks like doom right here. This looks like a doom corridor if I ever saw one. <gasps> a weapon? Is that a shotgun? Hey, a shotgun? And I, and I saw a revolver too. Like, it's all my old gear just kind of stashed next to this ladder. Only thing I'm missing is the flamer. We're ready to rock. Oh, how nice. Another save station. Shit must be going down pretty soon then. So let me save. Shit must be going down hard. Okay, well we're going for the, we're gonna stick with the bolt gun. It's our new toy. Like, maybe the boost they sent is the proper one built for their router. Internet one also might be two generations behind due to them normally not updating tech that isn't the Wi Fi or cable directly. Good point there, Lazy. Yeah, if um, range, getting a consistent and strong signal, regardless of where you are in your uh, home, is a really important thing. Like, I mean, after I got my WESH, my WESH, my mesh Wi-Fi system, I haven't looked back. It's great. Oh shit, look at that reactor. Systems, business as usual. I'm gonna have to explore the lower level. Should be an elevator down somewhere. This one's a base reactor, okay. Well, looks like I may have to uh, crack a few uh, working Joe skulls. So close to my favorite part. Ooh. Now you got me excited, lazy. Is that another save station? They're just throwing the uh, save stations at me now. Oh no, that's a, that's a lift. Can I use a lift? Why did I think that was a save station? Ahead of myself there. We got two? Oh shit, they're coming for me. Oh, it's so inaccurate. Shit. <laughs> So inaccurate. 
Oh shit! No! Oh shit! No! No! <laughs> running cause accidents, I know, but I'm running. Quick. I was like, what the? This bolt gun is a piece of shit. Expecting a horde of aliens coming and rushing you down or android army. So now that he's used it, let me just say I hate the bolt gun. The bolt gun's a piece of shit. I sh the, the last time I shot it at the guy, I think I was point near point blank range. It looked like it still missed or something. And then I hit him flush in the chest. I thought it would actually pierce. I thought it would penetrate the first guy and keep going to the second guy behind him. No, 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 no. This is not... This is not the Emperor's will. Not by a long shot, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'll stick with the shotgun. But the shotgun, I'm, I have even fewer uh, bullets for the shotgun. A beta core. If I can get to the alpha core, go this way. We have a thing to. Oh, okay, we just gotta head down. I already outran the Joes. Let me pause the game. Welcome you. Hello, skinny. Thanks so much for the raid. Hype is right, Allie. Yo, Wade. Story too. So that's so funny that you guys get to see the other half hey, of Derek, that Hey, Derek, thanks for the shout out. <laughs> thanks for the shout out for skinny. Oh. A skinny wife stream. I remember that. That was awesome. Juicy juice box. Thanks Mind for the follow-up. I remember nothing of this because I it was a Thanks concussion so much, that I had. Um, a pretty good one. Skinny father, hello. Welcome in, Juicy Juice Box. Love the name, by the way. <laughs> Yo, man, Skinny, how was the quarry? I saw I saw you streaming just before I uh, started my stream. I also saw Audi streaming, too. It's like you guys are uh, having a little face-off tonight with your the quarry streaming. Thanks. How are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, working through the final, hopefully the final few chapters of Alien Isolation. Uh, by the way, have you played Alien Isolation? Juicy Juice Box? Audi! Speak of the, I don't want to say devil, speak of the first queen. Thank you for the raid. Double raid. Holy shit, guys. Hey, Audi. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Yeah, another raid. Lit. This is lit junk, guys. You were also playing the quarry. I was just pointing that out, Audi, after Skinny raided. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <clears throat> I have a couple years ago at Halloween. Okay, nice, Juicy Juice Box. Did you ever finish it? Double raid. It's K. I'm a devil. We were so we were co-streaming online multiplayer the quarry with Audi and Juice. <gasps> I had completely forgotten that game has co-op capability. Anyone perish? All alive still. Oh, very nice. Not yet. I did the base game, no DLC. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the base game of Alien Isolation. It's such a long game. I've I pretty much had enough. I'm ready for the game to end, to be honest. 
No, it was so hard watching both, but so much fun. Yeah, you know, because Derek had played it solo for both runs that he did. So I completely, it completely uh, passed over me that, yes, there is co-op to the quarry. That's awesome. We need an Assassin's Creed 2 remake. Uh, oh, yeah, well, you know, I think Audi would get behind that. Rookie. Switching to mobile. Okay, Skinny. See you in a bit. I know that feeling. Yeah, yeah, this game, uh, I love it. It's It's been entertaining. It's had its kind of rough spots, rough patches. But yes, it is a little bit long in the tooth now. It was sad <laughs> solo. I wish I'd done co-op. It's so much more fun. The graphics and the quarry are amazing. Yeah, it's a looker. It's a looker. The 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 facial animation is it's it's up there. The gore, <laughs> co-op, not done. Coop. Throw the AC series into the toilet. Ooh, lazy. Fighting words. We're gonna start a war in chat. Oh, by the way. Uh, for the, anyone new who came in from one of the uh, the two raids, well, thank you so much for uh, coming in and hanging out. Uh, I'm Mac. I stream, uh, I like to say spooky and atmospheric games. I, I kind of recently started to go down that road, but I really started streaming more action and action RPG stuff. That's something I still do. And I play uh, anything that's cyberpunk I'm really into and anything uh, Warhammer 40k as well I'm down with. Right now, working through Alien Isolation. Also, uh, plan on playing a Dead Space remake uh, tomorrow night. So yeah, glad you're all here. And uh, if you don't mind, I will go back to uh, the vid the video game. Okay. Speaking of co-op. I hope RE4 Remake has it. I only played RE5 back in the day and platinum it with a friend who helped me out big time on hard difficulty. Was hoping for some beef with Audi. <laughs> oh, drinky, drinky. Thank you, Allie. I will do another drinky, drinky for you. Cheers. Mm. Speaking of RE4 Remake, yes, it's doing is to going the remake route. So they're probably going to do very extensive overhauls on the scale of the dead space remake right uh, i don't know if they'll actually go as far as to actually implement co-op i don't know how easy that would be um, or how much that would annoy purists who maybe just have always played re4 and think of re4 as just a single player game because talky talky, you must drinky drinky. And I, 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 you realize I, I, I do talk a lot in my streams. And I sometimes wonder if I talk too much, to be honest. Just downs a 12 gallon bottle of cheese for drinky drink. It's the, uh, we can do something similar to the one chip challenge. It's like a one, one 12 gallon challenge. Don't talk enough. Oh, really? Sometimes I do get in a zone, especially with this game, where it's almost like I'm holding my breath and trying not to make noise as I'm hiding in a locker, waiting for the uh, working Joe or the alien to uh, pass me by. But yeah, I, I do I do sometimes get into the the game face game face silent mode. But that's some good feedback, guys. Thank you. No, oh, just no. to make sure your mouth is parched. God, no. Oh, what did what uh, what did uh, Amanda Ripley just say? Talk some more. I like talking. Let's talk. Hey, I like talking too. Speaking of which, oh, did you know? Isn't so sorry. It's here. Oh, this is your favorite part, Lazy. Okay. Um, coldest bug you had redeemed, did you know? This is the part where I... Oh, I'm, I'm surprised you used your thousand points for that one. Was that a mistake? Because we already redeemed the anime hair. That's like a one time per stream of redemption. 
it's here. Yes. Okay. Cool. We just we have just arrived at one of Lazy's favorite parts of Alien Isolation. So I, I'm I'm hyped. Uh, Ali, just let me know if you meant to do that to redeem. Okay. Yes. Yes. Since I couldn't do, I'll do it. I'll do something else. Okay. Cool. Let Let's um get one done. Get that one done first. Yeah, yeah, pump those numbers up. Those are working numbers. So we were looking for a little bit of trivia. So um, this is where I have to rely on the internet. Okay, oh, shit. Uh, have a YouTube video that's open up on the tab. Let's close that. Okay, it's trivia, 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 trivia. Talk about how bees in Asia are melting wasps. Let's see here. Um, so, uh, in my neck of the woods, there is lately, I think since about October of last year, there's been an influx of um, stink bugs. So uh, people, especially in my immediate neighborhood, have been getting them inside their uh, units. And there's been a lot of, in our, in our um, Strata Facebook group, there's every, every few weeks, there seems to be some new person who's just like, anyone get the stink bugs? And what do you do with them, right? So apparently, um, there's a breed of stink bugs that is an invasive species that I think that came over from Asia. And uh, these ones you're supposed to kill with no remorse. Um, and people recommend you um, capture them somehow in a, in a glass or in some kind of container. You take them outside, and then once you're outside, you kill the shit out of them. And the reason is, uh, once, once they die, they immediately emit uh, a foul odor. odor. Hence the name stink bug. Uh, it's like a protective mechanism or something but yeah they're already dead and they'll stink it's supposed to smell like cilantro like yeah yeah you is right uh i remember getting one uh i think it was one of those stink bugs it was on our screen uh so luckily it didn't get in but it was just hanging on the screen my wife took one of her cleaning sprays one of the things she likes to do is to spray bugs with uh uh, cleaning cleaning sprays because you know those things are actually can be quite toxic for for little critters and it will kill them a, a lot of time. So she tried spraying uh, one of these stink bugs with 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 the cleaning spray, and after she sprayed it, as a reaction, I think the stink stink bug they just like shot excreted something out of its ass, like it just shot something out. Just some clear liquid. It was just freaking disgusting. And it didn't move either. Uh, it went away eventually. But we're just like, ugh. We're so glad it's not inside our house. What they do is they, uh, what do you call it? They overwinter. Uh, they find a way into uh, homes to, to sort of hibernate, essentially, during the cold uh, winter months. And they'll multiply probably, and then they start uh, spreading. So, um, yeah, without even really looking up too much about stink bugs on the web, I just gave you enough trivia to last you a, a few days at least about stink bugs. So there you go, Allie. Oh, wait, uh, I should actually tell you the name of the ones you're supposed to kill, the invasive breed. Yeah, they're, they're they're called a brown marmorated stink bug. Those are the ones that are the invasive species. There are the ones that are like more native to um, the country. Those those ones are actually not as bad because they don't fuck up crops and 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 you know produce in people's farms. But the marmorated stink bug, yeah, those guys will uh, will trash uh, crops. And people hate those ones, understandably. Um, 
<laughs> Eat them. Ew, they're so hard to kill though. Wait, y'all think cilantro stinks? I tried smashing one so much it kept sneaking away. I've never seen a stink bug. Your five day bit's really hard. <laughs> oh no. Derek just walks away after that. I cry for real. Look in the mirror. Burn. Jokes on you, ladies. I don't cry. Fuck. I can't spell that. Let's just forget I said that. Just stink. I hate bugs for real. I love spiders. I've developed a, 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 a decent amount of respect for spiders. I've developed some like almost like some solidarity with spiders in my adult years. I used to really hate spiders as a kid. But nowadays when I see a spider in the house, I'm not I'm not too fussed about it cuz I know they're going to wreck house in terms of like cleaning up the other uh bugs in, in our home, right? Spooder are so damn cute. There's an elegance to them as well. When they hang out on their web, we see them outside, especially when they're on their beautiful webs. They are quite nice. But, but if it bites you, same. Spiders are bros. Yeah, sp spider love now. I really developed more respect for spiders now. Because they will just fuck shit up on the other bugs that are even more disgusting, right? They go there when we sleep, hunt down other bugs. They also watch you for entertainment. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Two hours from now, boss asks, how was your early morning? Me? Learned about bee facts from Canadians and talked about stink bugs. Hey, hey, you tell your boss. Your boss won't know what he's missing unless you tell him. I have this one big spider in my garage. I let him do his thing. He has a pile of dead bodies. Love the kid. Now that, that spider probably shits all over the place. Spider shit, it's a real thing. But, uh, you know, it's a small price to pay, right? Hey, Gamers Coot, welcome in. Thanks for the wet fart. How you doing, sir? We were just, uh, you came in at the perfect time. We were talking about bugs, talking about stink bugs, talking about spiders. What is your stance on bugs and spiders, Coop? It is very rare for them to go out of their way to bite you. Uh, Lazy was talking about spiders. Yeah, it is quite rare for spiders to bite people. Um, there are, you know, when you're living in the other areas of the world, I heard really bad things about, you know, South America. They, the South America has some asshole spiders that you don't want to mess with. But up here, in the more, like, northern hemisphere, I think we're, we're safe from having those uh, asshole spiders for the most part. I kill bugs that plot on me. Otherwise, I don't mind. That plot on you? <laughs> Sounds like you aggravated it, coldest bug. I was sleeping, man. I was sleeping, man. What the hell? Less than 2%. Asshole <laughs> spiders, don't Google that. <laughs> uh, safe search. Turn on safe search. Okay. Lazy is hyped up about this part of uh, Alien Isolation, and he has gotten me excited. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. Is it going to be Alien? Is it going to be... More working Joes? Like, God, I hope there's not more working Joes. If there are, I hope it's the easy to kill ones. Okay, aliens coming back. We know the aliens coming back. Now, you gave me the flamethrower. You. All game. Oh, and look, look, it's all, um. Okay, there's another alien that they didn't tell us about. Look. Look at the walls. Look at the walls. The, the Xeno's got his gunk everywhere. Oh no. <gasps> Egg! Oh no, we got... We got face huggers! We got face huggers, shit! Oh shit! Yep. One already... Ricardo, they're all here. Oh uh, no. Everyone that's missing. Everyone. They're trapped. 
trapped in some kind of nest. There are eggs. It's it's oh, like a no. farm. Shit. Just get out of there. No. Oh no. Destroy the nest. I'll have to restore power to the platform from the conduits down here. Oh. Uh, this guy's just straight up dead. Overload Alpha Core. Okay, so the face huggers are all gone. The face huggers have already impregnated everyone. So now we just have to deal with Xenos. Wonderful. Hey, there's a save station. Let's like go for the save station. Let's crouch, shall we? Oh shit, there's eggs every everywhere you look. It's a damn egg everywhere. All bugs must die with the chen chenla? Those walls are moist. Thank you, Coop. Fire is not a good thing, Mac. Poor spiders. They're just hunting down mouth bugs. It's a common that spider man is probably get it in your mouth while you're sleeping. Who knows? We never go up at once. What? Impregnated? Yeah, yeah. Allie? Yes, so we have a few people in chat who have not seen the original Alien movies, like Alien 1 from Ridley Scott or James Cameron Aliens. I really do want to do a community watch party type thing where we all watch either the first or the second or both movies. Uh, because they're classics. And uh, we can't have a week or even a day go by why I don't rave about uh, James Cameron's Aliens. Because it's a sweet movie. And uh, some of you Utes, youngins, ought to uh, appreciate some, some classic cinema. Oh! Killed it, right? I saw it crawling towards me. Yeah, if I get face hugged, it's game over, pretty much. See, there's a face hugger alley. If it gets its tail around your neck and its body around your face, it's game over. Is gonna stick an egg into your body that will hatch into an alien fetus inside of you, and then the alien will come out of your chest in, in a few hours. A few hours later. Well, they die quickly. Heard something else. Yeah. What's that? I can't do this. The facts in the game. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have nightmares. Butterflies and moss are cute. <laughs> well, oh, you, you were talking about butterflies now? Okay, okay, lazy. I don't kill all bugs, just the ugly ones that hurt me and are nasty. <laughs> Butterflies drink human blood like mosquitoes. Nope, nope, nope. Moths are good. We need to extract more clips from last night. There was a lot of gold there. Guys, guys, Derek's stream looked like it was f absolute fire last night. I'm so choked I wasn't able to uh, join it. I mean, I had I had it on on the side, but I was having a, a, a streaming night with uh, with the wife, so. That is why. And I'm still in the early parts of the uh, the VOD. But it looks like you guys had a, a, a absolutely amazing time playing the uh, the doodle games. Scriblio and like I think the Jack party games or something. Yeah man. I 
Meg, I was so upset you weren't there either. Yeah, I was just, in, I was like in permanent lurk mode after the, um, after my sub notification, my resub notification came up, I just went into full lurk mode. For real, for real. How do I uh, get this working? Disengage the locking mechanism. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, suck it. You thought you could sneak up on me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take a good look at the uh, under underside of one of these face huggers. Um, it does remind you of some familiar anatomy, doesn't it? Uh, I'll say no more. Say no more. This is a PG-13 rated stream. I'll have you know. I'll have you know. Proceed to evac. Deal. Oops. Let's put it on the map real quick. Uh, okay. I guess I start pushing the buttons over here then. Hey. Do it. Reload my battery. Overload beta core. Shit. Some funky sounds happening right now. Beta core. I could go back the way it came, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Look at this. Look at how moist this area is. I hear a lot of aliens freaking out. Them. Should I save here? It seems unsafe to save right now. Hey, Skinny, welcome back. Dude, it was so damn funny. Make sure you get in there next time. Oh, I will, Coop. I will. Um, Streaming night with the wife be damned. I'll find a way to get out of it. <laughs> next time, I'll just have better timing. On when we do streaming night. Streaming night is incompatible with Derek's community night. I have learned. Um, PG-13 purposely gross times 13. Ha! Nice one, Lazy. Skinny, I'm not... I'm not winning, I'm not losing. I'm taking in the moment. I'm a little confused. Does the wifey stream too? Oh, no, no. This is more like watching Netflix. Uh, Allie. Yeah, yeah. Should have specified. Are you where do I go? Am I supposed to just go back to where I came? I guess so, right? Or maybe I can go this, go this way. There's something. No, no, no. I 
where does this lead? Uh, my flamer juices. I should be um, conservative. My flamer juice. Hey, you know what? I, I'll, I will go back. In. Oh. Yeah, this, yeah, this, uh, this is a good, like, climax for the game. Those sons of bitches from, uh, either, was it, what, Seekson? Those sons of bitches got multiple alien specimens onto the, on the station. Just give it a little puff puff. Don't need to hold down the trigger. Yeah, we have a dead end here, but we have some things to pick up. Search. Maybe we can do some crafting here. Just in the fetal position. Um. Oh shit! You got me when I had my crafting menu up, you piece of shit! Yo, Flamer Juice, LFG. <laughs> they sit there. Mac for that Netflix and chill. Yeah, yeah, I get a lot of... Squeeze a lot of value out of that Netflix these days. I totally knew that. <laughs> they sit there and have a scream contest. I think Derek quoted Mac when he said, I can deliver hard. Yeah, it was a quote, wasn't it? Look at that water shimmer. Oh my lord. Well, it's a good thing I saved, didn't I? I just don't like how he jumped me when I had already opened up this menu and I had selected something else that wasn't a weapon. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well, let me just... I still want to grab the stuff that was at the dead end. So I should go there. Quickly snag it and then I will do my crafting once I found a safe spot. Safe-ish spot. We know that egg's gonna hatch at the end there. Let's give it the puff puff treatment. There we go. Let me see first. He's like, this time he decided to drop down right next to me. Well, fuck. He saw your menu open and was like, fuck this guy, exactly. That's exactly what he did. Zeno was like, this ain't Fallout Pip Boy. He heard you talking shit. A third time's a charm, people. I'll get him this time. So, so says the, uh, the silly streamer. Famous last words. I'll get them this time. I could just forgo pick up that stuff too. But. I want my revenge. He dropped down from there. That's that's why I didn't notice it. Oh, oh. Can I come down in? What? What, man? Okay, I'm n forget it. Forget it. I'm not gonna go down that path anymore. Fuck that shit.
Hope everyone doing well today. Death Counter 2. Bro, I broke my back for real. Death Counter 3. Yeah, it's just doing a... Oh, shit. Oh, I am supposed to still go that way? That doesn't make any sense. Does it? Oh, there's a little, little path, a little pipe event thing I can crawl into. Okay, that's why. By the way, I'm crouch walking and I should be a ninja. All right, yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that before. So let's just take the... Well, first of all, let's loot this person. Yeah, here we go. Yes, yes, and now we're cooking. So we don't need to try and kill the face hugger and then alert the uh, xenomorph. We're just gonna slide into this side path here, which looks like a sphincter. Oh my God. Yes, this, this whole area is terrifying. Let's not get distracted. Let's not get greedy, looking for loot. Let's just stick to the plan, follow the waypoint markers. There's a face hugger. What happens now? I'm, I'm dead. Oh, thanks for the uh, redeem there. Uh, oop. Cheers. I'm out of water. I might need to reload in the, in a few minutes. Wait, the death counter or the back? Lamau, I was being dramatic, but that shit guts me and walking like I'm 80 years old. I think it is quite lovely, the back. Lol. Oh yeah, like the Beyonce. Don't quote me, I don't know who sang it. Song I woke up like this. Oh yeah, it's uh, quite difficult. We hit another difficulty spike in, in the game. They just love difficulty spikes. Okay, beware face huggers. They're a little bit hard to see once I get into the water. Crawl into the sphincter.
confused. juice. What the? Get out of here! I'm going the wrong way now. Oh no, I'm in the right spot. I'm out of, I'm out of freaking um, I don't know if I should save here. Should I save? If I save here. Chilling in the bag, just watching. Seeing you lurking in the shadows. I'm out of, um, I'm out of the one thing that I can have to to fight off the aliens right now, which is the flamer juice. But the save point is right here. Now the question is, if I save, but then there's an alien that is programmed to just come down and get me, just like a few seconds after I move away from the save point, when I reload, is the alien always gonna come down and get me? And I just like, Am I stuck in this loop of death? Or is it or is there some kind of randomization? Lazy, do you know anything about that? That's the thing, Skinny. You only get one save file. There's no uh individual save slots. You just constantly resave over the one save file that you have. I'm also like really close to my objective, but I don't know if once I get there, I probably have to do the whole song and dance of like pushing buttons again. Alien is programmed to be a single mind roaming, so it should be random. Don't risk it though. What what monster created that? I wouldn't chance because then you soft lock yourself. Yeah, yeah. If I had like a hundred units of flame juice still on me, maybe I might chance it, but yeah, I'm completely defensive now. I can just like throw noisemakers and flares to maybe distract them. Okay, so. Okay, which way am I going? Okay, straight ahead. Where's the thing that I need to press? Here we go. Here we go. Maybe throw a flare if I need to, or maybe shoot off a bolt gun. I don't know. I don't think a bolt gun is gonna. A bolt gun doesn't even save me against the. Uh... Oh fuck! I heard it walking around. It can still see me if I'm underneath the desk here. There's, there's so many of them now. It's not just one. I'm here. I'm here at the console. But... I need to get the power on first.
back already? So, okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, save station is there TS me. Where do I activate the power again? Let me just check one more time in this room here. No, nothing. It's a bunch of crog. It's a bunch of crog. Oh, here we go. I always think I'm gonna throw the smoke bomb and end up using the wrench. Ugh, this area is stupid, man. Could die and have a better run the next time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. The true mastermind. Hey, big sexy, I'm gonna jet. Sorry I can't stay longer. Got a busier day than I'd like tomorrow. Oh, hey, skinny, no worries. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for the raid. Have a good night, man. Chat, y'all stay classy. Bye bye, skinny. Now we can act wild. I will, skinny. Bye. Stay frosty. Okay, uh, let me just step away real quick. I will do a quick re reload on water. And um, then I'll be back and I'll try to make whatever progress I can make in the final like 20 minutes here. I'll be back.
Hey, thanks for holding up. Got me a bit more water. Lazy, it sounds like you had a fantastic dinner. Spicy pulled pork sandwiches with yum yum and sauce. There's that yum yum sauce again. And a side of Gouda mac and cheese. You had you had me for dinner? Gosh darn it. The type of guy to answer, what did you eat? Food. I am. But honestly, what do I gotta do to get you as a personal chef? Good, good, that sounds amazing. Well, well what a lucky duck. I wish, Lamau. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm thinking here that maybe I ought to do a little crafty craft. Maybe if I throw a Molotov at, at the alien. As, as a backup without without any more flamer flamer juice I don't know what happens if I shoot an a with a bolt gun maybe something good might happen or maybe it'll just wreck my shit let's just head back into the uh, sphincter tunnel Well, we know now that I can um, kill face huggers just by whacking them with my wrench. Oh, there's a. Right. So I could go to the end of this area now and, and kill that face hugger silently. Should I? Keep moving. Hey serpent, welcome in, man. How, how's it going? Man, that junk pissed me off, sucker. I tried to stream Mass Effect 3, but my stream was so damn scuffed, it broke every other second. Oh no. Wait, you want Rookie to be your chef? I didn't know the Rook Meister cooked. Freak that junk. Hey, sorry to hear that, Serpent. I hope uh, you'll be able to stream Mass Effect 3 uh, in the future. I hope you figure out what's going on. But yeah, that, uh, that blows. I think a uh, face hugger was coming towards me. I should just try killing it first before hiding in the uh, cabinet here. Also, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury and Sunday. Yes, Serpent. I was talking about that with Rookie earlier. Lizzie, you know damn well I'm talking about you, but hey, if Rookie can cook, I'm all ears. Serpent, who do you got? Uh, who do you got for the uh, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury fight on Sunday? Who's your pick? Just kind of butt mash. The uh, face hookers are coming. Lazy. This this section of the game is pretty sweet, but it's also super intense and uh, kind of unfair. Talk, talk about the odds being stacked against you, right? Oh, see ya.
Bye. Away from the moves, so I can hit the save station. I didn't hear him walk away. Oh, I'm not even in the right spot right now. I'm supposed to go back out by the, um, go back out by the, um, save station. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just gonna dive upwards into the ceiling. I better get a little taste of my wrath. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hide. God. Okay, now I triggered a little uh, objective change. Yeah, so now it tells me you gotta redirect power to the central core. Just going back to where I was. This way, right? Yep, there is. I wanna, I wanna actually catch one chat for a bit because I wanna see what. Uh... My pick is obvious. I suppose it is. What is pick me? I love cooking for others. The first big boxing event of the year, then streets need a tank versus Garcia next. Grab right back. I'm on my way. Oh, I never said it was fun, Mac. <laughs> yeah, you didn't say it was fun. You, you just said you loved it. Or it's like your favorite part. Boxing needs tank versus Garcia badly. Just like watching people struggle, struggle when I struggle. No offense, but hey, hey. I completely understand, Lazy. Completely understand. Facts. I got a feeling we'll get it. Boxing fights we want is happening. Feeling optimistic this year. If Paul versus KSI happens this year, it will be biggest PPV of 2023, and it will end in Jake knock him out stone cold dead. <laughs> KSI is the other uh, YouTuber or streamer, right? Okay, well, there's a, probably another, like, vent or something. I keep fixating on the machine at the end here. It looks like a generator, right? Um, but is there, like, another um, sphincter that I need to, like, crawl? Oh, here we go. Ask and you shall receive. There you go. I needed the sphincter badly. 
<clears throat> there it is. Oh, we got some goodies here. Yes. Can we build a Molotov? Let me, let me just get into the safe space here <laughs> before I craft anything. Yes, we can craft another Molotov. Should I? Should I? Or should I just hold off? Maybe let's hold off for now. Oh, what the hell? I'll craft one. One more. Just never know. I hate the sphincter badly, Mag. I, I'm all about the quotables tonight, apparently, Derek. Ain't nobody worried about KSI. KSI messed up. Should have fought Jake Paul when he was starting out. It won't even be close now. Jake Paul, more experience for him now. There's levels to it. KSI getting killed. Easy work. Thank you again, Coop, for the wet fart. Getting your mileage in. Yeah, Ricky, good point. Jake has acquired the RPG levels this whole time. He's been leveling up, literally. And uh, I don't know how active KSI has been in terms of boxing matches. It doesn't sound nearly as much as uh, Jake. So major, major disadvantage. KSI delusional AF, he thinks he stands a chance against Jake. In the past three years, KSI has fought an overweight rapper, a twig, and a Call of Duty YouTuber. Now compare that to everyone Jake has fought. KSI versus Mr. Corporate, only the real ones know. Yeah, Jake is, uh, to his credit, Jake has fought actual fighters. They may be faded champions like Anderson Silva. But, you know, faded champion or not, Anderson Silva is the real deal. You could say the same about um, Tyron Woodley. Yeah, you just can't, can't you, know, you cannot compare Tyron Woodley to a Call of Duty YouTuber. Surely not. I gotta pay attention here. Because I don't want to die. And I can see if I can get past this part for the end of the stream. Let's do it. Let's go. I thought I. What? Okay, I guess I have to go back into the little room first, man. Here we go. Think, tonk, think. Now I never get to play with the switches. Do not send the aliens after me. Okay. Sorry, I got an itchy forehead. Also nervous. Mac knows. Well, thanks for feeding me the info, Serpent. I mean, Based on what you told me, it just doesn't seem competitive at all. This KSI thing versus Jake Paul. Um, I mean, even a blind man can see it. KSI stands. Very little chance of uh, beating Jake Paul. Fuck. Turn to the central reactor. Okay, I did it. So I could actually try to save here if we're clear of aliens. So I have to go all the way back. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, I can use the sphincter as a shortcut. I said sphincter again because I like saying it now. A sphincter for your thoughts. Making enough noise.
always the weight dead right now on this reactor. See if I can get. I'm most likely gonna die. There we go. Yeah, it is pretty easy to kill those face huggers using only the uh, wrench. the sphincter, don't we? Oh, what? I was pressing my, uh, melee. Really? Really? Facts! Tell them. I've been enjoying Logan Paul's role in the WWE. Logan Paul and WWE, yes, that's a relatively recent thing, eh, Coop? Well, for WWE stuff, that's I would turn to Skinny or Derek for for the for the scoop. I was gonna say the Skinny, but uh, yes, yes. How has Logan Paul been in WWE? I hear he's got a natural knack for it. Mac, Lord of Facts, I try, I guess. Well, not really. Uh, it's 11. Um, Pacific. There's no point trying to push things further. Um, even, even I made it back to the uh, central reactor, I'd probably just cut the stream at that point, so it's not too much more. So I shall continue this madness um, next week. He really does. He's pretty damn good. Okay. Wish I knew. Looks like Skitty and Derek are the go-to guys for everything WWE. Yeah, seems like it. I try well, not really. Lamau. <laughs> How quickly I changed my mind. I try. It's like, no, that's a lie. I don't try at all. Uh, yeah, you know, some people are just natural born entertainers, right? You know, Logan Paul, he made it big on YouTube for a while, and then that started to peter out, and then he immediately switched gears into other ventures of opportunity. He tried to do the whole NFT shit. That, I think, blew up in his face. But uh, he's found a, a second life uh, in WWE. He's managed to parlay his uh, YouTube fame into something. Yeah, into really a very different uh, uh, entertainment medium. So, yeah, good on him, I guess. Good on him. Uh... Speaking of entertainment, that's it. Yeah, we are done for tonight, unfortunately, but I thank you all so much for uh, coming by once again, supporting the stream, hanging out, chit-chatting with everyone, and just being all-around good people, right? Do the fist. 
That's it, natural born entertainers. Yeah, some people just have a, a knack for it, right? It doesn't matter if it's YouTube or streaming, movies, just being famous for the sake of being famous. They just have a way of, uh, they're not, they're not, uh, they don't shy away from the spotlight. And I think they're, they just thrive under the spotlight. Do the fist. No, Allie, the fist is now a redeem. Should it be a redeem? I don't know. For Allie, I'll do it. It's like, hey, I'm a, I'm an MMA fighter. Hmm. Posing for a picture. There you go. Uh, speaking of entertainment, let's let's mosey on over to somebody else's stream. Uh, give them some love. Give them some uh, feel goods, and then um, we can hang out in their stream for a little bit before signing off for for the night. I am seeing um, Sadder is on again, but I uh, just want to switch it up. Maybe we can find somebody else. So um, we actually have uh, a cool dude, Limitless MV. He had raided uh, me last Friday when I was playing Wanted Dead. Really good energy energy from this guy as well as from his uh, followers who came in with, on the raid. I really want to... Um, Return to favor uh, tonight. So he's streaming um, NBA, <laughs> something very different. NBA 2K, 2K23. Um, so let's go over to Limitless MV right now. I will get that set up. Yeah, sports game. What the heck? But like I said, um, this guy came in. He had really good energy on, on his raid. Really good, um, just yeah, just just a wholesome guy. It seemed like it seemed like he and his followers were quite wholesome, very friendly. Ooh, Sadger, I'm clipping that by the way. Is it going to be a Doki Doki streamer? I don't know what they're called, but ones with anime character Derek raided last time. The VTubers. Doki Doki, I'm not like, sure what the Doki Doki uh, means, but I believe uh, Derek rated uh, Artsy Weeby, I believe. Oh, Artsy Weeby has come by this this uh, stream before as well. Um, there we go. Is it what they're called? Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure, Rookie. But I have heard that term Doki Doki before. Doki Doki streamer. Um, the raid is queued up and it's time for me to go. So let's on, head on over to Limitless MV stream. Thanks again for uh, coming by. Thanks for your support. Love you all. Let's say hello to Limitless and I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow night. VTubers. Yes. See y'all later. Bye.